you can see right here, this is just a small portion of my stash. This is just the stuff from one room. And this is my favorite. We'll talk about that one shortly. But yes, I've got the stash. Hey there, thanks so much for tuning in. I am Dr. Greta here to serve you and help you level up your golf skills and golf know-how. Today, we are talking about, you guessed it, tripods. Now, this is not something that typically discussed too much among golfers, but increasingly, as technology has becomes integrated into our practice and our training and our instruction, more and more of us want to use it as a daily part of our practice during a lesson or an instruction or something like that. I started thinking as I'm watching more and more over the weeks and months, more and more people working to videotape themselves while they're practicing. But I gotta tell you folks, I have seen some scary things because I know the value of cameras and technology because I'm on the side of kind of an amateur photographer and some other things. So I really value and understand the worth of some of these things. And I gotta tell you, it's a little scary when I see a camera dangling from a tree or an iPhone kind of jammed into a chain link fence all for a dedicated golfer to try to get some feedback about their own swing. I totally respect that and we all wanna do that, but we've gotta to learn to keep this technology secure. A lot of us don't think about tripods as golfers and how we use it, but today I'm gonna to help you understand there are tripods out there that will work perfectly, kind of fit into your bag and for a small investment, you can much more easily grasp good solid feedback and keep your technology safe and sound. So let's get ready to check out some tripods. So hey, can you do me a favor? How about pressing the subscribe button if you're getting value from this channel and ring the bell so that you're notified and you never miss a video. Thank you. Okay, so let's get started here. This one is one of my favorites. It is the Travel Tripod by a brand called iClip. Let me start with this. The links to all the products will be in the description below. This one is one of my favorites. I gotta tell you, it can't weigh more than seven or eight ounces. It's a telescopic, very compact is what I'm trying to say here, right? So, but it extends out. Way out, way out, way out, right? And it has these nice little feet, so watch this. Then, so it sits very, so it's very stable. This piece right here, this ball head as we call it, you can see it's built for the smartphone, right? Now it does come with an option to get this for your tablet. And I have the um, iPhone 10 Max, so that's the bigger one, right? So it fits in there comfortably, it's great. You can sit it on a chair. I've even kind of stuck it in my bag and taken great um, video and photos on the range. So this is a great option if you're looking for something simple. Oh, and it comes with a Bluetooth remote that you can easily connect to your iPhone. So guess what? You don't have to keep going back and forth every time you hit a shot. You just click the remote. Awesome option. The telescopic travel tripod by iClip. Link below. Okay, so that's number one. Okay, now this guy is one of the variations of the Joby Gorilla Pod, okay? Now, these have been around quite a while. If you were familiar with content creators, you know, people who are doing a lot of maybe vlogging or mobile video and that type of thing, journalism, so on and so forth, this brand is one of the long holding popular, most popular ones. Joby. Again, the links will be down below, so don't worry about that. Now, this one that I have in my hand is built and has the head on for one of my DSLR cameras. You can see, as you can see in there, it is gonna be a full mount there, just like you would on a full length tri tripod, but you can see the legs are long here. But one of the beautiful things about this in terms of our application, what we're talking about today, is the ability to have it hang on to things. Because right, a lot of times on the driving range or you're using this to get some footage of yourself out on the golf course so that you can learn from it, you can't just sit it down. It's not like 
you're in a photo studio, right? So you need, sometimes you need something to affix the tripod to, and this one is what it's built for. This, these little crazy looking legs, they wrap around things, right? With that, I can have it on a fence, on my bag, on a tree, branch, you name it. These legs are doable and I promise you, it's so good that I have a couple of these. In fact, my phone, which I'm recording from today, is on another one, a version of it that has the head for uh, mobile devices. This little arm right here is great because you can install a lighting because you know we need good lighting to get good photo photography, right? Or videos even. No worries because if you're using this, most of the time you're probably gonna be outside. Natural light, you won't need that. But this is what this extra arm for, and of course it's totally detachable. This is a great one, so it gives you a couple of options. Now, this actually has the video panning arm, right, if I wanted to pan, but it comes in a version without that. So this one comes in a multiplicity of options, the main ones being though, the common thread I should say, is that these legs wrap around and allow you to secure this thing, so you don't have to worry about your technology falling, or even if you need to put it at an odd angle, this one's for you, the Joby Gorilla Pod. Okay, so folks, if you are really ready to commit to getting a full-on tripod that has some enhanced flexibility, maybe you're gonna use it in addition to your golf training, but even if that's what it's for, and you just understand this is a great investment for you, and you're not afraid of carrying maybe a little extra something in the back of the truck, then this one is the one I recommend for you. This is the Gikoto Lightweight Tripod. Again, the links will be below, but it's Gikoto. I've got to tell you, this is actually my second one of these, not because one broke, it's because we have one that has the video pan head here, right here, you'll see that when I open it up in a little minute, and then we have one without it, so that's why it's a second one. This one is my favorite for so many reasons. It's incredibly lightweight, which makes it obviously convenient. It's pretty compact, as you can see, not much longer than my arm folded up. So that's, you know, good. Just fits in the corner in the back of the truck and I don't have to think about it. It's always with me. It's durable, but it's solid. Also, I do not like screwy legs on tripods. I like the easy clip, come in and out, consistent, less moving, fewer moving parts, fewer things to break. One of the reasons it's so durable. It's got great feet, okay? And also, the nice part about the clip leg, again, sometimes the land isn't flat, so I need to be able to have one leg a little shorter than the other, longer than the other, so on and so forth. You probably haven't seen me fully in person. I'm pretty tall. I am six feet and one half inch tall, and I have the tripod fully extended, and you can see that's at least five inches above my head, which would be right at 72 inches, 77, there you go. So if you are tall, this is a great option if you really want a tripod. And so when I am creating content, video, or even providing custom instruction with a client and I'm putting on videotape, I need to be able to get all of me with the camera. And most tripods are not very tall. They come in and you think the average tripod has like 55, 58 inches? Breaking news, if you're six feet tall, that's 72 inches. I'm already in a losing battle because the camera is too low for me unless I back all the way up, which then brings into some other things into play because if depending on which lens you have, or maybe you don't even have a lens, maybe you're using your iPhone or your uh, smartphone or whatever the case may be. We wanna keep it simple. So for a lot of you, if you are above 5'9", five, 5'10", five, you're gonna wanna try five that goes pretty high. You don't need one this high, but if you're out buying one, why not? The Gigoto. 77 inches, I love it. If I wanna shoot way down and show an instructional video where I wanna show you my feet all the way up to my head and then some, this is the one, rock solid. Again, the link will be below, but the Gogoto is awesome. Smooth panning head, this is how we just, everything is just nice and easy. We'll just pull those legs out. Let me show you, I'm gonna open it up real quick. Safe and secure, on the ground. It's a great tripod. Show you here again. This one is the video head. You may not want all this. It's detachable. So maybe you don't need it right now, but for a few dollars more, you've got a multi-functional tripod, which is a nice thing to have because, you know, video and everything, sometimes you want a smooth pain. You don't want, you know, bumpiness. Again, I mentioned when talking about one of the other tripods, the head on here, of course, is built for a camera 
DSLR or mirrorless or something like that. Again, for a few dollars, and I'll find the link and put it below, you can switch this ball head out and you can have it so that it fits your iPhone or your smartphone. Easy to work with, durable, lightweight, great price point. If you're going all in, the Gyoto is my first choice, but I don't really think you can go wrong with any of the ones I've mentioned. If you want to take some pictures of yourself and get some video of yourself, please do secure that technology out there. We don't want to you to tear up your, your iPhones and your tablets and your and your anything like that. So as you work to improve your game and level up, I hope that this information has been helpful to you. We'll see you in the next video.